watched. This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Is this really the flagship killer 2016? This is the OnePlus 2. It is based on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810. That means we are also getting this mighty Adreno 430 GPU. And I'm gonna run it through some games right now just to show you how good the image quality is, how good the performance is, and of course also how good the display is. So let's kick it off with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. As you can tell, you know, all settings are maxed out. So uh, visual effects max, resolution 100%, drawing distance 100%, there we go. So let's take a look at this. That is super smooth. No frame drops whatsoever. Let's get into a car here. Yes, you're pushing me over the edge here. Totally agree. I'm obviously not the best driver here on GTA, but once again, the graphics just look stunning. Woohoo! In the shadows, that's perfectly fine. I have no idea where I'm going now. <laughs> just hope that we're not gonna face a train. Here we go. So, I mean, this is what I would expect from a device that runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810. And now we're dead. Almost. So, let's check out another one. Well, how about Nova 3? Let's see. Looking good. Oops, okay. That was a quick death. But as you can tell, why that one's perfectly fine. I just love racing games, and one of my favorite is Asphalt 8. So let's check this out. Uh, let's race a Tesla in an Audi R8 e-tron. And once again, this is also, in terms of the settings, it is maxed out. And even though that this is the third game that I'm playing right now, the OnePlus 2 seems still to be pretty cool. Plus, I have no throttling problems um, in, that is caused by, um, by the heat. So that looks pretty good. Look at this Tesla body. What about the sound? Oh, sorry for the reflection. But once again, that looks perfect. Nice. Okay, let's do the jump. Oh, not the way I wanted to do it, and especially not the way I wanted to end this race. If you're not into racing games and some ego shooters, how about some Batman Arkham Origins? Let's do this. Okay, and start it. Let's beat up some bad guys. Here we go. Oh my god, I hate these masks, guys. Oh. Mix the miss the combo. What was that? A power up or something? <laughs> Take this. And once again, what I need to show you 
Look at the viewing angles. That is perfect. That looks great. And so does this game. Okay, I got it. <laughs> and as you can tell, the sound is much louder now. Interesting, huh? So we have these stereo speakers here on the back, on the side. And um, yes, especially when you're playing in landscape mode, right? And you're just holding it like this. That's of course a little bit of a problem. But still, seems to be quite loud. How about a round of implosion? Come on, where are you? Here we go. Yeah. I got it. Obviously you can tell that I'm not the best mobile gamer. But I'm getting some hits. And once again, this looks great. Last but not least, just to calm down again, Leo's Fortune. I just love this game. Woohoo! Uh. Oh, I missed that one. Once again, you can see all the graphics. They look stunning. And just here, guys, this is this is what I'm constantly saying. Screw these 2K displays. They are just, you know, draining your battery in no time. Plus, you won't be able to see a difference. So no matter what kind of game you throw at the OnePlus 2, it can handle this. And this is all due because of the mighty Snapdragon 810. This is the version V2.1, so they tried to solve the heat issue a little bit on the software side by customizing their Oxygen OS towards the Snapdragon 810, also using very specific heat spreaders for this. I've had no problems whatsoever. All of these games, all of the latest and the most demanding Android games that are out there are working perfectly fine on the OnePlus 2. If you have any questions, please just leave me a comment down below. And if you want to give me a thumbs up for this video, feel free to do that or subscribe to our channel. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks, giving you a little bit of an introduction to the gaming performance of the OnePlus 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.